Hey hoes, what's poppin? It's your girl, Chloe Davies. Welcome to or welcome back to my vlog channel. So, today I have a very special vlog for you. I went on a huge tour of Europe. I went to the three major cities, Paris, Rome, and London. That took me three tries to say because I forgot the three major cities. Anyway, so I decided that I had way too much footage, so I split it up into three different vlogs. So first, I went to France, then I went to Rome, then I went to London. Uh, actually, in between Rome and London, I spent a little time at my grandparents' house. They live in a little country called Wales. It's part of the UK, right next to Scotland and England. And um, they live in a very quaint little town. It's actually the second smallest city in Wales. Um, it's pretty much a village in this quaint little house, very little house. And this is the London portion you are seeing now, but it's not just London. It is also me being in my grandparents' house, but it's like not super boring. We did a lot of stuff. We went to this amusement park that has so many cool different roller coasters. It's called Olden Towers. If you know it, you know what I'm talking about. It's super cool. We also went to the beach. We went to Liverpool and did this Beatles tour, which was so cool because I love the Beatles and it was just, ah. But there's also London and that is the majority of this vlog. So be sure to stay tuned for that. So I hope you enjoy this. I enjoyed making it. I had so much fun being in a different country even for the part where I was at my grandparents house and kind of slowly dying but London was super cool I hope you checked out my Paris vlogs and my Rome vlogs because those were super dope too you should definitely go check those out I am making a playlist with all my travel vlogs that should be somewhere on my channel that you should definitely find but yeah you should watch all my vlogs because together they piece this beautiful thing I went from Rome to Amsterdam to London and then from London to America, which is where I am now. Let's get right into the video. because my uncle was supposed to pick us up and he didn't. Yay. It smells like rain and cigarette smoke in this hotel. The smell of England. Well guys, we finally made it to my grandparents' house. Literally, we waited two hours at the airport and then we had an hour trip to get to my grandparents' house. So I'm just so tired. I'm finally here, we just had dinner and I'm just going straight to bed. So, um, we're gonna be doing miscellaneous activities throughout the week and I will film the ones that are the most entertaining. But obviously I'm not gonna film most of my time here at my grandparents because it'll probably just be like watching TV and like random errands. But yeah, so I will see you at the next entertaining thing that I do, which could be tomorrow or in three days. But yeah, see you then. about to go on one of the scariest roller coasters in the world. People have died on this ride.
cool sweater souvenir from, oh my gosh, where did I go today? From Molten Towers. It's, it's kind of creepy, so I kind of love it. I love like big baggy sweaters like this. It also, it says Smiler, which was the super intense ride that I almost passed out on today. Story time, by the way, yes, I know I'm super pink. I'm not really sure why. Anyway, so story time, I um, passed out today at Alton Towers. Basically what happened was I just, I hadn't eaten all day and I haven't been drinking enough water this entire vacation. So um, in the wait line for this roller coaster, um, there's like bright flashing strobe lights. There's like this hypnotic music that continuously plays in a loop. And I, I was like feeling really lightheaded. And so that like contributed to it, I think. It was just fine. And then we were in like the dark place where there were the bright flashing lights and the music was still going on. And it was like pounding. It was intense, guys. It was an intense experience. And um, what the heck? My hair has gotten so blonde and I'm so happy about it. But anyway, so I'm just sitting here and I like say to my brother, I'm feeling really lightheaded for some reason. And then I'm getting even more pink. What the heck? Also, this sweater is super. I'm not gonna wear this for the rest of the summer. <laughs> the line moved like super slowly. It would like move and then it would stop for a really long time and then it would move and it stopped for a really long time. So we like moved and then I sat down, but then we started moving again so I didn't get to sit for very long. And um, we were just walking up these stairs and then I just, <laughs> I just, like it was so weird. I just like felt like my consciousness going away just slipping away it felt like my ears were bleeding and it was just kind of crazy and then i just like everything was black and i just felt myself drop and my brother and my dad caught me and um i was like oh shoot i just passed out and they were like what the frick is happening did someone push you i'm like no just blacked out and then the lovely couple in front of us they were like Oh my gosh, are you okay? Do you want us to go tell somebody? And I'm like, no, I've been waiting 45 minutes to ride this ride and I will ride it. And they were like, hey, we have a water bottle. And they gave me some water. And I was like, thank you so much. Nicest couple ever. Shout out to them. They probably aren't watching this video, but shout out to them anyway. Shout out in spirit. Um, but yeah, so that was my story of how I passed out in the ride line of one of the most intense rides in the world not actually on the roller coaster. Actually being on the roller coaster like brought back some of my consciousness. And then afterwards we got some candy and I got some more water and it was great. Did not pass out for the rest of the day. But yeah, so this ride, it goes upside down 14 times. So that was really cool to go on. It was super intense. Definitely my favorite ride in the park even though I passed out before it. Oh, and also another souvenir I got is this it's gummy fish and mallow chips it looks so good bro when i saw it in the candy shop at olden towers i was like i have to get that okay i just tried fish and chips for the first time and now i see candy fish and chips of course i'm gonna buy it it was a really great day London. 
um, well, technically three days, but the last day I'm going to take the plane to the United States. made it to London, made it to our hotel in London. Um, it took one train to one place, another train from that place to another place, and then another train from that to London. And then when we were at London, we have to take the underground, which is like the subway or the metro. We have to take it all the way to pretty much like the end of London, which is where our hotel is, right by the airport. So we were gonna take the underground to the airport. But the one we got on didn't go all the way to the airport. It like stopped before, and I was like, what's going on? So then we had to wait for another metro to take us to the airport. And then once we were at the airport, we had to take a bus to the hotel. So we are finally here. It took forever, but we're here. And this hotel is definitely the best one we've stayed in. You can see we have a TV here and then a desk cute mirror um these beds which are literally they look so comfortable they look so fluffy i'm so excited to sleep in them this is the first bed that we've had that actually looks good closet that we won't use <laughs> oh my gosh wait is that coffee dude nice coffee and tea definitely gonna be using that uh another mirror and what is back here i actually haven't been back here yet um all right there's a door there and i'm not gonna try and see what's behind that um then here's the bathroom my dad is currently taking a shower so i'm not gonna show you the bathroom now but i will show you it later and we have to stick our room key into this thing to be able to turn on the lights Oh my gosh, that might have messed up my dad's shower. Um, okay, so yeah, that's our room. Definitely the best room that we've had so far. And I'm excited.
guys, we're here at Big Ben and I'm extremely disappointed. So what's Banda Banda? It's completely covered. The heck? And yes, same shower as France. What the heck, Europe? In this cute little photograph. Period. So we're on the plane and we just walk out that house. And Liam and I are seated at different places. Look. Sad boy hours. finally got back to America. That's right, if you have been watching the France and Italy vlogs, you might have noticed this going on. And actually, this was the intro for the video too. This is real time right now, just got back to America, just got back from the flight, changed into this because I just wanted to get out of my travel clothes as soon as I could. And I'm filming these intros and outros now. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have checked out my France and Italy vlogs as well. I've been changing the name from Paris and Rome to France and Italy. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you watch them and you gave them a big thumbs up and you give this video a big thumbs up too. And comment down below something in English because this was the English speaking country that I went to. And check out my Instagram link down below where I have posted pictures from my travels and check out my Facebook. I have a Facebook now too. And also check out my Twitter link down below and my main channel where I post my main videos they're super spicy you should check them out I'm not really sure why I'm using the adjective spicy now but I am and I kind of dig it thank you for being with me on this journey it was truly such a journey that I enjoyed so much I just this is amazing. This was such an amazing experience. But I can't believe I'm back in America. And honestly, I'm so glad to be back in America. I missed it. You know, traveling really made me appreciate what I had. And that was one of the best things about traveling, honestly, is that it makes you appreciate what's back at home. It makes you appreciate the people that you miss, the places you miss, all those stuff. Just, yeah. That is all for now. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification bell because my schedule for uploading on here is very irregular and you do not want to miss a video. I love you all so very much. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for following me on this journey and I will see you in the next one. Bye!